So, um, 1928 classic yacht Euphemia 2. And I recently did a rebuild on the windlass and uh, solved one of the leaks by replacing the hydraulic motor, uh, which is there. And I had everything repainted, um, including the um, directional control valve. And uh, which is a Gresson, I believe it's a Gresson um, SPW4. <clears throat> and quite an expensive unit, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars US. Um, Gresson, I think, has been purchased by another company a couple of times over, maybe. So it could be sold under a different name now. But um, but uh, what I have, I've taken it off the mount. It's normally mounted up here. I've removed it off the mount to try to problem solve um, because I've got a leak, and the leak is coming from the control control um, where the control handle would go um, and uh, so I thought about buying a new one saw the price thought maybe it's just an o-ring so I'm gonna take this apart and uh, and hook it up again uh, with some new o-rings in it and hopefully that solves the problem now it says in the instruction manual for the um, for this unit, which I don't have, and I only just read recently, um, that you never paint around the control because it'll cause a leak um, when the paint cracks. And um, definitely it was painted around there, and it did crack when you start winding in and out. It'll crack the paint for sure. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how it actually causes the problem, but it seems to be what I'm dealing with here because it's where it's leaking from. And it was not leaking there before um, so um, so yeah it's it's a good paint job on there um, in hindsight probably should not have been painted around the control um, so we're gonna take the control out and look for o-rings to replace or clean get it on the workbench and see what we can do with it <clears throat> 